morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse from Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27, please. It says this, The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath thee are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall destroy them. Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. And the title I've given to my thought this morning is this, or to abide in Christ. Or to abide in Christ. What a tremendous verse that is, with so many promises for you and for me. And you know, each morning I'm thrilled to bring another heavenly diamond for you to examine and enjoy the wealth of it for the day ahead. And I thank God that as I read uh, and as I look at these heavenly diamonds, that they give me strength for the day. And not only for this day, but for the days that lay Ahead. Our text says that the eternal God is our refuge or our dwelling place, or if you like, our abiding place, the place of divine safety, the rock in which we can hide when the storms of life are raged. And we used to sing a lovely old song and it simply said, Hiding in thee, I'm hiding in thee, O oh, blessed rock of ages, I'm hiding in thee. And this is true, friends, for each individual who puts their trust in Christ. The world and the things of the world are unable to molest those who are in Christ. We are secure in the Saviour. He is our shelter from the storm and we can rest in Him. Because we are in the refuge of the eternal God, we can realise the favour that He has shown to us and we can be confident of His strength. To bear our daily burdens, we can be assured of His love. How can we be assured of his love? Let me read to you a verse from Isaiah 49 and verse 16. These are the words it says, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, how he loves you and me this morning. We are engraved in the very hands of our Saviour. All our sins, all our needs are engraved in his hands. The nail prints on his hands will be a constant reminder, friends, of his love for you and me throughout all eternity. As he lifts his hands to bless us in glory, so we will see the nail prints in his hands. And we will never forget the great sacrifice that he paid for you and for me. And the nail prints will be the only man-made thing in heaven. Isn't that amazing? Oh, why do we ever doubt him? He keeps his promise to us a thousand times and still we doubt him the next time a trial comes our way. We have never been off his mind. We have been consistently upon his mind. He consistently thinks of you and of me. When he was on the cross, we were on his mind. Before the very foundations of this world, we were on his mind. Yes, our text says he's our refuge. But then it goes on to say those wonderful words that underneath us are those everlasting arms. And what an encouragement, friends, that must be to us today. But still there is more. Not only is he our refuge, and he has his everlasting arms round about us, but he it is who will thrust out the very enemy of our souls before us. Praise God today, friends, that Satan himself cannot stand before us. For Satan and all the demons of hell have no power when Christ is in control. They are thrust out from before us. They are thrust out by Almighty God. Or to abide in Christ today. May this be your experience and continue to prove a wonderful Saviour. God bless you. And I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.